Hey y'all, and welcome to Politibrawl. My name is Brian, and RFK Jr.'s vice presidential nominee, Nicole Shanahan, flips the script on Chris Cuomo when he tries to shame her for daring to join forces with Trump. This is fantastic TV, but before we dive in, I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors over at Native Path. Their, uh, their products, particularly their collagen peptides, can lead to a much healthier life, but more on that later. Now, let's get back into the video. And with Bobby by his side, you know, we're going to have the best partnership around health this country has ever seen. Um, we're going to have a conscience around making sure we don't let Pfizer run our vaccine safety commission. We are going to have objectivity and objective truth at NIH and the CDC. We're not going to have another situation in which Fauci's firing two scientists because they're disagreeing with certain aspects of the, the safety of the mRNA vaccine. I mean, that that was just wildly inappropriate to fire two top specialists during Operation Warp Speed. And again, you know, I think Trump learned a lot. We're not absorbed into this. We are a coalition, which means that we can be loud and objective and we can present an opposition I, I it. when it is necessary. What guarantee do you have of any power over these issues in the administration? And two, why are you, who's known for being a savvy person, so quick to trust that Donald Trump will deliver on what he says? Well, so to answer your second question first, look, where we are right now is we have taken a year. Bobby's been running for over a year. We have... Mm -hmm across this nation. We have talked to Americans. We have met people from all ends of the political spectrum, which is what you should be doing if you are running for a representative office. You 100%. should be out there listening. And yep. our job is to bring that voice to whomever is going to be sincere in their reception to hearing the American public, where they're hurting, what is going on. I mean, farmers, like farmers are so underrepresented right now. And, and this is why I brought up some of my criticisms of Kamala Harris's food cap economic policy, right, mm -hmm. or food price capping. Farmers mm -hmm. are on their knees in this country right now. They are not price gouging. To say that our farmers are price gouging when they are already on their knees, who mm -hmm. can I take that message to today? You tell yeah, me, that's a fair Chris, criticism. who's going to listen to me? Because I have taken this message for years to the Democratic Party, and I cannot get through to anybody. It's not like this has mm -hmm. happened overnight. I didn't wake up one yeah. morning and say, what a great idea it would be to leave the Democratic Party. No. No, I tried everything, everything in my capability to get through to someone who would listen and hear this actual science, to hear mm -hmm. the people on the ground, to listen to American voices. And we've got to judge people by their reactions. We've got to judge people by the people around them. And right now, mm -hmm. Trump has some really good people around him, and he's willing, he's, he's more than willing to listen. He wants to listen, understand, verify, and then say, all right, who's going to help me get this done? And Bobby has been right up there next to him being like, I will get this done with you. Y'all, this is absolutely fascinating to me. Uh, a normal reaction would be, wow, this is wild, but no. The inner political science geek in me it has noticed this very interesting trend. And I, I wrote something down. I was going to give you a prop, but it's hard to see. Uh, I, it's a simple drawing on paper. So I'm simply going to describe it. There's been some, there's something in American politics that I call the great rift. Most Americans are in this great rift. And if you were looking at a political compass, it would be basically center center. All right. Maybe a little bit authoritarian, maybe a little bit more libertarian. Leans a little left one day, leans a little bit right to the others. This is your average American. This is your swing voter. These are not tr traditional Republicans. As a matter of fact, they used to be more Democrat, uh, Democratic voters. Or even a little bit more on the libertarian side. These are the people that Ross Perot woke up. And that Ross Perot energy has been around, and it arguably cost uh, uh, Bush the Elder's it probably cost him the election, in my opinion. So, these voters, they don't really have a political home. But they know two things. They know that the Democrat Party has left them behind. That They know that they don't like abortion bans. 
So what does Donald Trump do? He realizes that there's a huge portion of the country that's up for grabs. Hey y'all, I wanted to give a quick shout out to our new sponsors, Native Path. Created by Dr. Chad out of Austin, Texas, he realized that there was something deeply wrong in this medical community. And instead of focusing on nutrition, they were just focused on uh, serving big pharma. So he left and created this new company called Native Path. And what do they do over there? They sell something called collagen. Now, what is collagen? Well, it's not magic fairy dust. It's not this muscle milk. It's not calcium rich. Instead, it is an odorless, flavorless, dissolves completely in water powder that you can mix. And unlike Iocane powder, this stuff has massive health benefits. It can help your bones, your joints, your ligaments, your skin, your hair follicles, even your fingernails. This stuff is absolutely packed with the nutrients that we lose so constantly in our modern diet. This stuff is a fantastic supplement, can help you live a healthier life. And if you go to this link down here below, you will find up to 45% off of certain products. That is how much Native Path cares about your health. So go check them out, link in the description below. And now, back to regularly scheduled programming. And RFK Jr. has tapped into this a little bit. He's one of those people who questions everything. And we need to start questioning things. We need to start questioning why, are, why is our health continually deteriorating? Why are our foods just so bad for us? Why do I have friends that go to Europe, eat like pigs, and lose 30 pounds? Why does this keep happening? What, is, is there something wrong with our system? The answer is yes. And RFK Jr. has been all about that. And so the Democrats, as they had sort of moved away from the center position, if you look at them on a political compass, they exist on an arc stretching from the very edge of the right side of the spectrum all the way down uh, through the almost communist side down into uh, the libertarian left wing. The Republicans used to be a triangle that almost touched that middle authoritarian side and continued on all the way down to the libertarians, your Jacksonians, your Evangelicals, and your Solutionists. That's the Republican coalition. Donald Trump, however, has expanded that triangle into a giant trapezoid as he is moving as fast as he can to the center. Imagine, if you will, uh, a race. And that's why, we call these that's why we call these elections races. This is a race, and it's a race to capture certain points. This isn't just a race in the traditional sense where you have the starting gun and you cross the finish line. No, no, no. This is a campaign. This is Patton swinging around and cutting off the Germans in France. And that's what's happening. It's unorthodox. And it makes a lot of conservatives mad. There are a ton of traditional conservatives that are livid that Trump has been working so much with people like RFK. And even now Tulsi Gabbard has come out and endorsed Trump. These people know that there's something rotten in our system and it needs to be basically either cured or amputated. <laughs> And having people like RFK Jr. in certain roles is going to help that. Having outside voices like Tulsi Gabbard is going to help that. Once you realize that this is an attempt to expand the tent, because the GOP used to be called the Big Tent Party. That used to be one of its nicknames. In order to get the people that don't traditionally vote Democrat and will swing and oscillate between elections, capturing those swing voters is of utmost importance. That is why Trump is working with RFK Jr. And that's why, uh, but there's also one more reason. You might not know who uh, uh, Nicole Shanahan actually is. She has a lot of ties to Silicon Valley. And you know that I harp all the time about rich white liberals, how they're sort of the dominant uh, class in America. It used to be white Anglo-Saxon Protestants. That's changing. What is now happening is the tech bros are coming in. They are about to be the dominant class. And that is the, and that's something that you're starting to notice. J.D. Vance is good friends with Peter Thiel. Peter Thiel is huge in Silicon Valley. So you, put, you start putting two and two together and you realize that the power system is shifting. Silicon Valley is here. It's here to stay. It's been taking over and the rich white liberals are livid and the wasps haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> once the, once the, Traditional conservatives realize what's going on. They can sooner accept it, stop fighting it, and then try to help things move back in their direction on, on a later date. It's time for a lot of traditional conservatives 
to back off, regroup, and see if this experiment works. If it doesn't work, congratulations. You come in four years later and you save the day. I don't think that's what's going to happen. But I highly recommend regrouping. If, I, if I'm a traditional conservative, which I'm kind of not. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a very oddball when it comes to my political views. But once you realize what's happening, that there is a seismic shift occurring, and instead of fighting it, you can start help steering the ship. That is why Trump is going out there working with RFK Jr. That's why uh, Nicole Shanahan was his, uh, is his uh, vice presidential running mate. That's a big reason why J.D. Vance was picked. Their ties to Silicon Valley are of utmost importance and are showing that there's a huge shift in American politics that's coming. And you know what? I am all here for it because our system is des deserves to be saved but also deserves to be cured. And for the sake of, Ameri of the American people, I hope that is exactly what we get. Folks, my name is Brian. Hope you enjoyed this segment here on Politibrawl. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one. And until then, y'all have a good one.